be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. a vlog but this one's a little bit different for me because this one is actually just a daily vlog I usually just do weekly ones but I just thought I haven't got much to do I can't, I'm not up to much this week and I've got a lot of work so I just thought I'm kind of doing quite a bit today so I just thought let's just do a daily vlog ignore my hair I haven't actually done my hair yet but I've had a shower and I've done my makeup I wanted to try this out it's like one of those I don't know if you can see it it's like one of those brushes and it's like instead of having my hair like dead straight it kind of gives it a little bit of a i don't know a bit of something but this one's actually from primark and it was 16 pounds my mum actually got it for me for christmas um so let's see let's just see how it goes you guys would have seen i'm not very good with things like this you guys would have seen this morning that i went for a jog yes you know um so i actually started going for my jog yesterday so t this morning was my second jog yesterday it had like a cute little sunrise um i'll probably insert that clip from yesterday because today was just dark and like just rainy um so yeah it was pretty grim out there this morning and i had nice clean straight hair yesterday and like now it feels a bit like i don't know so we're just gonna give this a go we're gonna try this oh i'm thought I'd vlog today basically because I've got the dentist um and my dentist is like 40 minutes away um and like near my dentist there's like Costa there's like home bargains and TK Maxx so I thought we'll just go for a walk around the shops as well I'm trying to be like a little bit healthy but I thought what like what harm is like an iced decaf iced coffee you know it's just like a bit of sugar and a bit of milk like I'd have that in a bowl of cereal or a cup of tea so we're having one I finished my jog i think i did about 20 minutes that is as long as i can do i find it so hard to go past 20 minutes and i need to try because basically my last jogs i did quite a few jogs last year but my last one on my app on my phone let me find my run keeper it's called it basically it looks like that it just like tells you i can't show you because it'll tell you where i live it basically just says like how many calories you've burnt, how fast you were running, how long you run for. I'm gonna try this out now. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get ready now because I need to take Leo to school. Leo actually woke up at, I think it was about quarter past five this morning. Um, so Luke went downstairs with him so I could get a bit more sleep, um, even though I still woke up obviously early, but it was a little bit more sleep. <laughs> Tesco now I'm just looking around the clothes I actually didn't think I was gonna make it here because I thought I was gonna run out of petrol and I was like ringing Luke like I'm not gonna make it but I made it and I'm just gonna walk around the clothes in Tesco and have a little look because I've seen on Instagram loads of people have been picking up these like pajamas that look like the white company pajamas so I'm gonna have a little look around and see if I can find them I don't know why I'm out of breath I'm kind of feeling this blue coat I'm feeling it. I feel like I've got a grey one on, which is quite similar to this one um, from Primark right now. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking that blue. They got lots of coats on the sale, I've just seen. Um, I don't actually need any more coats, definitely not. But got, ooh, this is quite a nice thick one. Um, oh my god, this is a bit of me. Wow, look at that. Gorge, £35. I really do like that, but I just know I would never wear it. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm just into these coats at the minute. I've got a cream one and a grey one and I just want to kind of collect them, but I really shouldn't. Um, this is my outfit. I'll just show you quickly. I don't really think this cream top goes with this, um, but I didn't want to put like a dark top on because I felt like I was going to be too dark, but I basically got my leather leggings on. This coat I actually picked up from Primark and then, yeah, just like a cream jumper on. And then this is my hair. This is how my hair's turned out. I mean, <laughs> I think next time I need to put like some water on it and then do it and I also need a haircut because these bits need to be a lot shorter but okay I found them they kind of look like 
Can you see what they look like? They kind of look like that. Um, and I've just seen loads of people wear them on Instagram, so I wanted to pick them up. But they are. They're more on like the expensive side for me. Like, let's have a look. How much are they? I did just see, actually. Yeah, they're £22.50, which is actually a bit... <laughs> a bit pricey for me. I normally actually get like my pyjamas like um, from Primark, as in like I literally just get like the men's t-shirts, which are like £1 something, and then I just wear my knickers. But I just need, I've just been feeling like, you know when you put your pyjamas on, you want to feel like nice. Just come over to the home bits in Tesco and I've literally just seen this gorgeous lamp which I absolutely love. I would love like, either in the living room or like, you know like either side on the, the bed, what's it called, the bedside unit things. I just love them. That's cute as well there. Quite a few things on the reduced to clear, I don't actually know if that is that, but these are cute. I like them. They've got lots of like this kind of pampasy grass and bits like that here as well. I like it, I don't know if that's... I mean that's kind of cute, it's not reduced to clear. That's nice as well there, put a little candle and a book on there. Me and Luke actually really want to get an air fryer, but I don't actually know, it's down to this. But I don't actually know, like, is it actually any different than an oven? Because like, I don't know, I just see all these cooking videos and they use an air fryer. But can you, obviously you can just use your oven instead, but it just looks so good. I've just messaged Luke to see what he wants to do because he has literally been going on and on about getting an air fryer and I was very close to getting one for his birthday but that is just not that's that's just that's just you know it's just not it is it he doesn't want an air fryer for his 30th birthday but sorry about this lighting if it might be a bit bright because the sun is shining on me but I've just got back in the car now where have I just put my keys oh they're in there yeah I've just got back in the car now from Tesco it turns out I didn't actually get the air fryer all the pyjamas. I literally got nothing I said I was going to get. Basically the pyjamas at the bottom of the leg went tight and I don't like that. I like it when it's just like straight. So I thought £22 for something. I'm like, oh, it was a no. Anyway, in the end. Air fryer Luke said he actually seen one cheap in B&M. Um, and also I wonder if they've got one in Home Bargains because I'm going to go over to Home Bargains today. Probably not. I don't really like, I don't feel like that's something they'd have in Home Bargains, but I'll have a look in there anyway. Um, but yeah, I actually just picked up some little daffodils. I just think they're pretty and they're cheap, like one pound. And I think for two, it was like one pound fifty or something. So I'm going to little decorate the house later with them. And then I actually just picked up this tablecloth because it was, I don't know if you guys can see, it's just like a kind of a polka dotty one because um, it was on offer because our one is just full of Leo's colouring marks. I'm going to go to the dentist. I'm absolutely starving, so... I'm going to go to the dentist, get that done, because obviously I don't want to eat before the dentist, and then um, go straight to Costa, so I'll probably speak to you guys in Costa. <laughs> if my lipstick literally looks like it's half off, it's because obviously I went to the dentist, which went fine. It was just a checkup, but I do need a fill-in. So I'm going to have a fill-in in like a month, I think. Um, the joys. Yeah, I've had some food in M&S. Actually, I might leave now. Yeah, <clears throat> and I'm just leaving M&S now. Just looking at the beauty bits. But I'm just leaving now. And I'm gonna go and get my iced coffee and I'm gonna go and have a little look around um, Home Bargains. Right, I've been in Home Bargains and I've just spotted all of this kind of Valentine's bits. It's a cute bowl. I also noticed these. I thought it'd be so cute if you're doing like, you know, Galentines when like you do it with your best friends and you kind of just, I don't know, decorate all cute and girly. I mean, you, I guess you could still do that with your partner, but yeah, there's loads of cute bits in here. And then also I've noticed it's obviously Mother's Day soon. I don't actually know the date of Mother's Day, but there's plenty in here for Mother's Day. I also spotted this which I absolutely love, but I can't really buy it for myself off Leo, can I? But um, yeah, I love that little mug there. This little water bottle, 2 dollars Aww, stash all my chocolate in there. Okay, I'm at the Easter bits now, and I've spotted some really, really cute, I mean, I know Easter isn't until ages away, but these are so cute, like decorating hats. And they've just got so many good little things in here, look. Look at these little slippers, Leo would love them. Little balls. Baskets. Over to the homey bits, my <clears throat> my favourite. This is cute. Love that. 
My like these little bowls as well. What do you put fruit in there? Fruit or something? I do really want one of these, um, what are they, like bath racks. I really want one and I want to start having baths more because, I don't know, I feel like I don't have time, but I do have time. I've just got to make time, you know? This is also nice, all your shower stuff in. Also spotted a really nice bath mat over here, which wouldn't go with my bathroom. But um, like, you know when people have like decorative, like black things in their bathroom? I don't know, I hope you know what I mean, but yeah, I, th I think that's quite nice. This is nice, that would probably go more in my bathroom. My bathroom's more like the kind of creamy vibes. Not actually that much in here. I think because they've got like the Valentine's, the mum, well, I, I mean as in there's not that much homey bits in here. I love coming in here and having a look at like the cheap homey bits, um, but there's not much in here because obviously the Valentine's and the Easter and all that. There's not really much for me to show you, but I did actually do just now, I filmed, it come to B&M with me and there's some good bits in B&M like good home bits so that go and check that out it might not be up yet but keep an eye out I think I might head over to TK Maxx now because home bargains just isn't doing it for me you know just seen this and I really want that to be like my dressing table stool but I'm not sure if it's going to be too short it doesn't actually have a price on it but it opens up like that is that the price? hold on, hold on. well Maybe not. £89. If you haven't already guessed, we are in TK Maxx. Look how cute this might not, you might not even care about this, but I feel like these are so cute. Look at these. <gasps> how cute is that? They've got little seats as well. Leah's actually got one of these. They're basically like, um, oh, they're like this. Sleeping bags. They are so, so cute. He's got like a teddy bear one. They're so good. We actually took it camping in the summer when we went camping actually, and it came in a very handy. We're back home. Welcome to my bathroom. We're back home now. Um, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you guys. It's like the afternoon, um, but I am gonna do a little kind of evening skincare, get ready for bed kind of thing. I just thought I'd kind of do my evening face skincare, get and ready with me now, even though it's just the afternoon, like it's still, very bright and sunny outside. So it's four o'clock. Leo's actually gone on a play day after school um, to see his cousin. Luke's dad's taken him. So yeah, so I just thought I'd do this while I have time because when he comes back, I'm gonna have to make dinner and play with him and all that bedtime baby stuff. So, well, he's not really a baby, but I've just put Luke's t-shirt on. I think it's Luke's anyway, unless it's one of my, it's from Primark and I always get the men's t-shirts like for bed because they're nice and big i don't know if this is luke's or this is mine but we put it on i'm gonna put my hair up now and we're gonna start taking off our makeup all of a sudden i feel like my hair has just grown i don't know i feel like it's just gone long all of a sudden but that's gonna have to do so i need to as you can see this is blended in just lovely like it's just the perfect perfect you know match i didn't take my contacts out first if you don't like gruesome things don't look contacts are out i'm now blind i cannot see what i'm looking at <laughs> i go in with my la roche posay cleanser what i was saying is i'm obviously the perfect i'm obviously not the perfect match like it's a, it's a very much a problem at the minute at how pale i am let me just wear this but um oh do you know when you i normally bend down but obviously i kind of want to talk so it's just gonna have to go all down my arms but basically well let's just give it a good rub i wanted to well tonight oh my god can i not talk after i've done this i'm gonna fake tan well like what's it called moisturized tan is it what's it called gradual moisturizing tan that's what i'm gonna do um i'm just sick of being pale and i've actually got i think i said earlier actually i've got a haul to film with bikinis in my taps take so long to get warm i'm literally just washing my face with freezing cold water all the time oh yeah did i tell you yeah i think i did tell you actually that i've got to have a fill in which is lovely can't wait for that not it's literally the last day of january today thank god for that i've literally hated every second of this month well yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna pop on my 
moisturizer from La Roche Posay. It looks like this. So it's Luke's birthday, 30th birthday in May. May? Yeah, May. And we're actually going to go on a caravan holiday for it. So yeah, tonight we're going to book our a caravan holiday, which will be very exciting. I'm super excited to book that. Um, I just said to him, what do you want to do for your birthday, you know? He's not into like the parties and stuff like that. He said, let's just go on a caravan holiday for a week, me, Leo and Luke for his birthday. So we're going to do that. It's going to go in with some um, Clinique eye cream. But usually for... I need to get some more of this. Look, I'm running out. Usually for his... Oh, I can't even talk. Usually for his birthday, I like pay for like a night away, just me and him, like in Cardiff or something. But obviously if we're gonna go here, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to get him a present, but what do you even get someone for the 30th? Is 30th a big, a big birthday? I don't know, but I actually got this for my birthday. Um, it's the Sunday Riley Sleeping Night Oil and it looks like this, but and I was going to use it. What does it say it does? Something retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while filling the signs of premature aging and surface redness. It sounds good and I really want to try it, but because my skin is actually being touch wood, pretty good at the minute, I don't want to like, you know, when you just put new things on and then it's going to flare up. Um, cause I've got very spot prone skin, very oily skin. So I just don't know what to do. No, I'm going to leave it tonight. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it for tonight. But then I'm going to go in with this Clinique lip oil. Gosh, I actually can't talk today. I'm so tired out. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to book the caravan holiday. So that'll be so, so fun. And then next week, we're actually going on a night away. Just me, Luke and Leo, just for one night to this place where we can go for food and then they've got like this really big swimming pool with slides so yeah we're gonna do that next next week which is really fun i'm so excited to have things to look forward to because january has dragged let me tell you let's put the glasses on so i can actually see um whoa. <gasps> yeah this this is not a look this is just definitely not so i'm gonna go big tan now and try and make myself feel more alive and then i think i'm gonna start editing this vlog and Leo will be back. Good evening guys. I feel like I've just gotten worse and worse looking wise as this vlog has gone on but whatever. I've fake tanned. You can't even see anyway. It's like a gradual moisturizing tan so that's probably why um, but I've done all of that. I've done the housework. It's very late on in the evening now so I'm super tired. Um, I'm actually just waiting for Luke to come back from the gym and then we're going to book this caravan holiday. I cannot wait. Last year was literally my first time I've ever been. I would, I say ever. I must have been on one when I was younger, but I just don't remember. Um, so last year was like, it felt like the first ever one I'd been on that I can remember. And I don't know why. I didn't know or I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. I don't know. I just thought, oh yeah, caravan holiday, like... I don't know and then we absolutely loved it like I just loved it so much so yeah I'm so excited and we're actually gonna go for a whole week this time last time we only went for like four days so I just can't wait I'm gonna book loads of activities for Leo and yeah it's just gonna be really fun it's gonna be nice and chill a holiday that's like all about Leo if you know what I mean like we're not going on a city break we're not going on like an abroad which is like I don't know just feel like caravan is very chilled it's like a drive up the road and it's just all about Leo so I can't wait for that um but yeah I am going to bring this vlog to a close because Luke should be back in a minute from the gym I hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming shopping with me and just like a little daily vlog let me know like if you prefer daily vlogs or weekly vlogs I feel like I get up to a lot more in a weekly vlog yeah I'm all snuggled here I've got a blanket over me I've got my dressing gown on I'm freezing I'm refusing to put this heating on so yeah I'm all snuggled up here and I'm still actually editing but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video